So I'm uh, trying to hand flick um, the underside of this CX-16 milling table. I already done uh, and flaked um, uh, one uh, direction. And then I'll just uh, marked up the other direction just with a color marker and to get the 45 degree angle and some sort of, um, you know, division here. Um, I'm using a, just a modified Anderson scraper, just having this for doing the upwards motion bumping and to protect my hands a little bit. And of course the marks here uh, are more inconsistent than with the, uh, with the Biax uh, Half Moon Flaker. As to be expected, uh, all much dependent or more dependent on my skills. Um, so I've learned that I should uh, hold this at a specific angle and um, with this uh, length here and the stroke arm I get, I uh, hold a little bit above this and then lean forward and then also angled, angle it a little bit. And this determines how the marks will look like, whether I get a, a full curve or just some flat marks. So I'll try to show now at least um, some of my hand flaking efforts. Uh, the reason I'm doing it hand flaking is that I think that the biax will bump too much into this other part of the dovetail here. So I'm a bit afraid of that. So I'm doing this instead. And uh, the camera may get in the way here also, a little bit out of room here. But I'll position this flaker here a little bit to the side of the so I show it here then. Angle both this way and this way produces then with the bumping here a rocking motion and I of course uh, hold it firmly here so when bumping here it will bounce back again. So trying to show here then or maybe here I'm afraid of the camera getting in the way should be okay. Okay, let's try. Okay, I think the marks were a little bit too small, so I'll try to to hold a little bit looser and then getting this to move faster. Okay, I guess uh, it's enough just to inspect. So my first efforts, yeah, these were these were the ones in the inconsistency, of course, and then also an angle. But at least here you see the first marks I made, and then the the following here. So this is more or less what it at least uh, I get as how they look like when I get in more consistent and the more you train the better they will become. So I'll just uh, finish up here. So this is my efforts at least with the marks like so. So a lot more work than uh, with the bike slaker. So um, and the marks are different. 
not so consistent, but um, and this was a more wavy pattern, at least some places. Probably should be like, more like this, but the wavy pattern obtained here. Uh, well, it's just um, handiwork. I mean, it's uh, becoming better and better the more you train. I think uh, it proves, uh, at least it should prove, that you can do this without the bike breaker also. The purpose uh, being to retain the oil, of course, uh, within this baby patterns, that the oil will stay there for a longer period of time than if not. But, but caution, this will uh, probably, at least as I have learned, um, take away half of the of the scrape marks and this will have the effect that um, it uh, takes away of roughly at least down to 50 percent of the of the support points that you made by scraping so be aware it will um, there's a trade-off here but the point of all this is that you will retain the oil better within these uh, wavy patterns or this uh, this marks here so the wavy pattern you see here is the factor that uh, keeps the oil in longer uh, on the part here than otherwise so it will be longer uh, than otherwise being scraped or just ground if you for example have two ground surfaces to one another you will squeeze out the oil and then uh, friction of course and then you will the parts will be stuck together and if you have force trying to move them then you will have something called stick slip where you have the friction stopping and then you overcome the friction and the parts will scoot like so so you have an uneven uh, let's say movement and uh, of course you will have scoring and then wear accelerated wear so this will then um, prolong the usefulness of such a way system by having the oil in there longer. And of course, uh, it is the lack of oil that really wears down the machine. And uh, you have the presence of oil in here. That's uh, for the purpose that the parts will glide, at least such a way system.